But first, two employees of Brevard County Public Schools arrested in just the last few days. One of those being a teacher accused of trying to have sex with a student. This is News 6 at 430. I'm Julie Broughton. I'm Lisa Bell. Ginger Gadsden is off. The music teacher of 30 years at Satellite High School is now behind bars. News 6's James Barbero also has details about a janitor accused of threatening to cut a student with a razor blade. Good afternoon, sir. Can I have your name? Timothy Michael Liscom. And your date of birth? 11-10-58. After 30 years with Brevard Public Schools, Tim Liscom is no longer in the classroom. You're not to return to Satellite Beach High School. Instead, the 64-year-old is in jail, facing felony charges, including traveling to meet a minor. You're to have no contact with the high school student that was involved in this case. The Brevard Sheriff's Office says a student reported Liscom to another teacher when she became concerned about what Liscom was messaging her. An affidavit reads, the defendant expressed in those chat conversations that he wanted to perform multiple sexual acts on the minor child. I can't say that I didn't expect it. I just always thought he was a little weird. Brooke Burnley says Liscom was a music teacher at Satellite High School. It's crazy. Someone who's trusted with children would do that. I think it's just gross, disgusting. Liscom is the second Brevard Public Schools employee arrested since Thursday when the sheriff's office says a janitor at Space Coast Junior Senior High in Port St. John told a 14-year-old he would cut him into pieces with a razor blade. A report reads 26-year-old James Bylergen felt the student was disrespecting him while he was cleaning the bathroom. I'm going to find a heightened danger to the community based on your employment. The janitor is out on bond while the teacher is still in jail with a new bond total of $100,000. If convicted of his most serious charge, the judge telling Liscom he could spend up to 15 years in prison. In Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results, News 6.